Welcome to the Citadel. My name is Joel Duggan, and this is a survival multiplayer server where I do geeky stuff in Minecraft with my friends. And we are still working on the fortress farm, the one that I started last time, uh, or perhaps just earlier today. I really don't know. This is taking a long time. So we're going to fly over here and take a look at my handiwork. And I'm going to try to land up on this precarious ledge, just like that. And this is a slabbed nether fortress. We did pretty much all of this on a stream the other day. And uh, I have to say, it was really fun. It was very chill. And uh, I got most of it done. And I came back later that day and just did the insides. And there really isn't much, provided that these are all, like there's no more floors down here, that these are the only things inside, that there's not more stuff spawning in there, uh, then this is actually pretty cool. And this right here is the epic uh, crossroads where we're going to be putting the crossroads farm and I have a few measurements to take care of today there's a few things I'd like to do uh, including getting rid of some of this lava uh, and mapping out a temporary farm uh, area where we can potentially get some skulls and stuff while we're setting this up but uh, one thing that you can see in the distance right there is the blaze spawner that was giving us a lot of trouble last time and there is another blaze spawner if you can believe it right there uh, this corridor actually leads straight to it. I want to say it's even the same. Uh, I think that's the same X coordinate. I think this way is X. Yes, this way is X. So uh, I want to try and sort those out because they, they've been giving us some problems as we've been exploring this fortress. And I want to try and create, um, I know we don't need a double blaze farm there because, well, one, we already have one on the server, but two, this is going to collect blaze as well. But because these are spawners, I feel like we could maybe, if someone wants to AFK here, then that would be possible. One of the things that I wanted to start off with was mapping out the, uh, the area where this farm is going to go. And also we're going to need um some some lava cleared because i i know i'm eventually going to fall off the edge doing this and i would rather not <laughs> i would rather not have it be done uh the hard way i don't want to fall in there and, and cause cause a problem so uh the floor i i believe the box that the nether fortress uh allows for spawning is 19 by 19 by 10 centered on this block right here so we're going to do a little bit of counting and we're going to create at least just one floor here. We're going to alter uh, this railing here and give ourselves a strip of, um, of nether brick and try to make this like a rudimentary farm. What we're doing right now is mapping out the full size of the platforms that are going to be going above and we're just going to remove all the lava below that just so that while we're working, if anything goes bad, you drop a shulker box, something like that, that we don't end up with a whole lot of loss. Um, I don't think I'm going to miss having the lava down here. I think it, it's, it's probably a good idea to remove this 19 by 19 box of lava. Wah! That was close. Sneaky Pete over here. Ugh! <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then we will do the space and this. You will see why we're going to do that in a minute. So what I want to do is I want to encase this in sand. That's the plan. So I probably should have brought my sand shulker down here too. But here now, if we just double fist some sand, I have no idea how deep this lava lake is. Oh. Hey, look at that. We've got a, a, a perimeter of, uh, of sand. So I think what I want to do with this is just go in with stone and just slowly work our way in. So I can just go around like this. Like that. And then I can go ahead and remove this stuff. I really am not worried about getting this back. Do 
do have a Discord. I do have a Discord, uh, and you can join it a number of ways. If you uh, are a sub on Twitch, that includes Prime, Gift, or Tier 1. Uh, or if you are a patron at patreon.com slash Joel Duggan. Uh, or a patron on the Citadel Cafe. It really just depends on which way is best for you. But if you'd like to support the creative work that I'm doing, then you get access to the Discord. Bits and donations are going towards a new streaming PC. And I want to say... I don't have a streaming PC currently, so it's going to be, uh, it's going to give me access to PC games because I, I currently play on a Mac. So the first game that we're going to be playing with a new gaming PC is uh, No Man's Sky. 38, let's do under 64 and 1. That sounds like a good amount of ladders. Sweet. I love having all these bases set up everywhere in the world. It's so good. It's so good. You just pop by, grab the stuff that you need, and then you leave. <laughs> it's so good. And then the base replenishes itself. So the idea with No Man's Sky and why I want to, um, why I want to finally get off my my Mac gaming butt and and get into the world of PC gaming is because I really feel like I've been missing out on No Man's Sky in in uh, particular. Uh, there are a couple of other games as well, but really No Man's Sky is the big one that I feel that is like Minecraft, but different enough that it's my style of game. You know, it's the kind of thing that I would like to stream. It's the kind of thing that I would like to play. Joel, where are you from? I am from Dartmouth, Nova Scotia, Canada. So I'm on the east, east coast of the country. Very much the east coast. I live about four blocks, four blocks? Two blocks, two very large blocks from the ocean. The Halifax Harbor is just down the road. And I would not have it any other way. I was looking at some of the, the new starships and stuff that they have in No Man's Sky and some of the, like the customizations and man, does it ever look cool. One thing that I have not seen, uh, whenever I've tuned into someone that's streaming that's playing No Man's Sky, they're already well into a game. And so I've not actually witnessed the character creation screen. I don't know what that looks like. And you can do all kinds of stuff. You can have like your your head can be like a ball of energy. Um, or you can have like weird alien bodies. And I think I want like a bright red spacesuit if I can swing that. That's kind of where I want to start. Just because I think so much of like sci-fi is like gray and white and stuff. Um, I want to be like... Really bright and colorful. Something I really like about No Man's Sky is just how bright and colorful it is. Is your monitor bug fixed with 14.4? Yes, indeed it is. That's one of the reasons why I took some time off this summer is because the screen tearing bug uh, I was unable to play because it was making me motion sick, which is not fun when you know your favorite game is making you feel ill. But I couldn't, I couldn't play for more than like 20, 30 minutes, so streaming was kind of pointless. Um, so I'm trying to make up for it. We've been doing a couple of days this week with some longer streams. And I'm also trying to prep for um, some more frequent streams, more frequent art streams. I need to just, I basically need to try and stream every day if I can. Um, not Minecraft. Some of it or most of it is going to be work. But I feel like one of the things that streaming Minecraft does is that it does keep me in the studio. Like I don't get distracted. I'm not on social media. I'm not bugging out doing other things. So if I could focus and use kind of like that, um, that time in the studio for streaming and get some work done in Photoshop uh, on my own prints. Uh, I've got a commission right now for more artwork for Pixel Rifts. So there's stuff like that that I need to do. Uh, and if I can do that uh, as often as a, every day, I, I don't know. It's a goal. I don't know. I have to work up to it. It's not something I'm used to. Um, and obviously on Mondays and Wednesdays, I podcast. So I'm not probably not going to be doing too much on Mondays. Um, and Wednesdays, it really depends on when I record the Citadel Cafe. Chances are I won't be streaming ahead of the Citadel Cafe, but I would more than likely stream if I recorded the Citadel Cafe in the morning. Um, I recorded the Citadel Cafe very late last night, so that's why I didn't, didn't stream. Oh, I think I missed, missed some stuff over here. 
Well, it took a bunch of time to fill in all of the sand and lava underneath the crossroads, but that part of building the farm is complete. We were doing that live on Twitch, got to hang out with the Twitch chat and uh, talk about all kinds of really cool nerdy stuff. But uh, I think this is going to be where I wrap up the uh, the farm progress for this episode. So if you've just tuned in, my name is Joel Duggan. This is The Citadel. And you can find me on all social media at Joel Duggan. You can find me at thespongechunks.com where I chat with my buddy Pixel Riffs about Minecraft every Monday. And you can also find me on Patreon, which is where you can support the creative work that I do here on YouTube and Twitch. And that's at patreon.com slash Joel Duggan. I will see you guys all next time.